Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. We're going to go through quickly rollers and how to clean them. This is in my maintenance video, but I wanted to do kind of just a single uh, video and also uh, one to kind of really focus on rollers. Okay, what you see me do here is I am gently grabbing my carriage and sliding it. I always stabilize my hand on the machine, grab it and slowly slide it. Please understand, I am not yanking up, I am not yanking over. I am slowly sliding it. If you abuse your machine, okay, you're probably going to end up tearing that band. If you tear that band, your machine will no longer work and you will be in for an expensive fix. Okay, What I'm doing is just gently sliding it over so I have access to this roller and that roller. Okay. Understand my machine's rollers at this point do not need cleaned. However, I have had a lot of questions on my group page about this. So I thought I would go ahead and do up a quick video. I'm going to bring you down here to take a good close look at this one. Okay. Let me try to set the camera in here a little bit closer for you. What I want you to be able to do is actually see the spinning. Okay? I'm going to hit my mat load button. Okay? You see that that spins like that. Okay? To remove any debris, regular old window cleaner, Q tips, or cotton swabs. I'm going to dip one end in here. Okay, I'm just going to soak it a little bit. Okay, so I don't have it sopping wet, but I have it wet enough so that when I apply it on there, it's going to get on there and start to loosen up any gunk that may be there. Okay, also note see how thick that is? I never use one that thick, and I'm going to show you why unless I'm going after something. okay. Watch what happens when I put it in here and I start hitting the mat load button. Okay, so I, oops, hang on, shaky hands. I want to clean, I want to clean, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh goodness gracious, what happened? Oh, poo. It got stuck in there. Oh no. Well, that's actually, it can be okay because it can come down here and help you clean this bottom roller. A lot of people don't realize this gold looking thing down here is also a roller. That's your bottom one. If I let this go around, that's just going to help clean that, okay? And you can fish that piece out, don't be alarmed, okay? Even if you see it disappear, oh, there it came. Came right back up here. So now I'm going to start fishing it out, okay? So don't ever be alarmed if that does happen. If you can't get it from the top, you can get it from the bottom by flipping it over and going after it through the scan glass area. Also, do not ever hit the mat load button when your fingers or any tools are around this area, okay? You can cause extreme damage to your machine. Okay, so what that's doing right now is that's loading that area full of all kinds of good cleaner. Okay, I'm going to take this junk here, that piece that fell off and got caught in there, and I throw it away. Okay, this is what I actually make the end of mine look like before I start cleaning. I pull off as much of the cotton part as I can, and then I will wrap it, really wrap it around there so that nothing can get sucked into the machine. But again, understand sometimes I do like it to do that so that it goes around and it actually cleans both parts of these rollers. There's two roller bars, okay, um, so that it cleans both of those. But that's how I will go about. So you go in, I'm trying to make sure you can see this, you go in and you clean this top roller all off until you get all the gunk and then you can work on that bottom piece. Okay, so get that a little bit on the wetter side and you go in and 
scrape there then you fast forward the rollers do the same thing okay so once that's all done soak your piece of cotton and then you're gonna go down these and then while this is here you can actually forward the rollers just like this okay and you'll be surprised how dirty that bar is okay and you can gently oops sorry you can gently slide the carriage and the blade holder back and then go after the rest of the bar okay so you just clean this whole thing and what I'm doing is there's this top bar right here and then this bar right down here okay so that bar right there that bar right there okay that bar that's what I'm going after I'm sticking this in there and I'm cleaning it okay because it will get really dirty okay but that's how you successfully clean your rollers and understand I do not ever recommend spray or tape adhesive because what will happen is it can get stuck on here okay and it can actually cause these rollers to seize up and if you actually read the little instructions or little paper stuff that comes inside the brother new mats it tells you this in there okay and I know I've seen a lot of little brother dealers that say oh we've done it forever that's fine they can do it but they are not the brother corporation and brother does not stand behind the warranty if that is found okay so uh, that's why I do tell people this um, it's just something that they have they just don't stand behind that warranty okay um, what else uh, if you do want to retack your mat zig your mat which is this uh, whew, this zig two way glue pen right here if you want to see how to retack your mats search zig in my name on YouTube and you will see how I actually strip a mat and retack it. Um, you don't necessarily need to strip your mat every time. You can retack over it if you need to. Um, as long as the the sticky uh, as long as your mat is not too grody, um, you can retack over it like once. Um, if it's starting to look really nasty or have a lot of buildup, definitely strip it, okay? All right, that's uh, pretty much all I have in mat maintenance or in roller maintenance. Uh, let's come out here. Okay, the true test to this, I'm actually going to shut this off because we need to reset this. Don't yank it back, just leave it set right there. We're going to hit our power. Hang on, let me pull you up here. We're going to hit our power and we're going to hit OK, and that's going to reset our carriage. I took it right back there and now it's fine. So let me grab one of my mats. I have a new one laying around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Stuck to the bottom of my other ones. Because remember, I do not ever cover my mats. Ever. So let's stick it in here. Sorry, I know you can't see. I load my mats this way with using positive downward pressure. I do not ever recommend doing this to load your mats, which is holding your hand right here. Uh -uh. One, you can get your finger sucked in. Two, it's so easy to cock load it. Okay, no. I use a positive downward pressure, which is pretty much holding it like this and allowing the machine to suck it in equally on both sides. You will always, always, always have an equal load that way. Hang on, let me back this camera up. It's like jumbling everything up here. There we go. Let's see if it loads right. Okay, so we've got a good load, which means our uh, underneath scan glass is not dirty, so that does not need to be cleaned either. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhub on Facebook. Have a great day, guys.